Retinol is a really important uh, ingredient in dermatology. This is um, a retinol uh, serum and oil. Um, retinol is, um, a, is vitamin A, essentially. We use retinol a lot in dermatology, either in its pure vitamin A form or in uh, a form called a retinoid, which is a derivation of a retinol. And retinoids are usually prescription, and they're just stronger versions of retinol. Retinol does a lot of uh, stuff in the skin. It's often thought of as an exfoliator. It's not really an exfoliator. It actually kind of speeds up and normalizes the way the skin is turning itself over. Um, and so it, it gets absorbed into the keratinocytes, which are the cells in the epidermis, and it changes the way they're programming themselves um, and it causes them to, you know, go from layer to layer in a sort of a more normalized and a little bit more rapid way. Um, and as it does that, it's similar to glycolic acid, gives you collagen stimulation, so it's anti-aging. It also gets rid of sun damaged cells because it's kind of speeding up the recovery of the skin. Um, so it gets rid of uh, so it's anti-skin cancer and gets rid of precancers. Um, it gets rid of pigmentation because your your old skin cells don't have as much time to hang around. They you know will accumulate melanin from their from the melanocytes as you get sun damage, and that's what gives you brown spots and freckles. And this will speed up the skin care uh, the skin cells so that a lot of the ones that are holding on to melanin granules and giving you discoloration are shed. Um, it also prevents um, sticky uh, skin, dead skin from accumulating on top on the surface of the skin, giving you a kind of a rough or dull appearance and prevents that sticky skin from getting caught in the follicles, the opening of the follicles, which causes acne. So it's anti-acne, anti-aging, anti-skin cancer. It's anti-hyperpigmentation. Um, gives you, uh, you know, a nice glow because it reduces the dull, rough skin. So it's a really, really important um, sort of powerhouse of an, of an ingredient in dermatology. Um, and I do encourage most people to find a retinol or a retinoid that they can tolerate and like using. Retinol, the vitamin A, um, pure vitamin A, pure retinol is tolerable for most people. People with rosacea and very sensitive skin will, may have a little trouble, especially with a retinoid, which is a much stronger version. But retinol um, is usually uh, gentle enough for most people. And you would start slow. With the retinol, you want to start very slow. Give your skin time to what we call retinize. You want to start like twice a week at night only. Do it twice a week for two or three weeks. And then you go up to three times a week, four times a week, five times a week until you can do it every night. You will get to be able to do it every night. There are people who come in and say they tried a retinoid or a retinol and it made them red and peely, so they must be allergic to it and they stopped using it. That's probably not the case. Um, you're probably not allergic to it, especially if it's just vitamin A. You can't be allergic to vitamin A because we need vitamin A to survive. So um, you are probably not allergic. You probably just didn't give your skin the chance to retinize. So you have to go much slower and you slowly build it up. Um, if you get red and peely, you hold back for a few days and then you start again once your skin is normalized. You can sandwich retinol in between moisturizer. So you put on some moisturizer, then you put on your retinol and then you put on moisturizer again. So you make sure that you're being really gentle with your skin except for adding that retinol. The last product that I will talk about is um, what I would call